go. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see how long Bonebot takes to, uh... Alright, it's working. It looks to be. That's good. Yep, everything looks to be good. Now, today. Today, today. Battle of the Atlantic. We're going to be doing that today. At least that's my plan. I wish I had a 1D2 right now. I would roll that. Just a pick. The Germans or the British? I'm gonna go with the British. Yes. Alright, so... We are, we're fighting the Battle of the Atlantic, so... Not much else to be said. Uh, Ape or Die group has the Vega and the Bullocks in it. This central Mediterranean group, I'm going to call it central, has the Suffolk, the Vanessa, the Vialti, and then the submarine Tridion. Over here we have War Spite with Bannock and Vanquisher as its escorts with the Isis sailing around with it. Get you to move over there. I get you to move. Nope. Alright, Tysus has moved. I'm gonna get the uh pretty on to Oh no, if I, this was a, a German campaign, I wouldn't know where to put the U boats. I put them here ish in these three grids because you know all the convoys are going to go through these grids. But they don't. And there's Pwnbot. As normal, probably two minutes late. I'm going to get you to hang off the uh, coast of Portugal. Alright, up here we have the Renown with the heavy cruiser Berwick and the Vimy. I think they're good for the moment. Over here we have the Sheffield and the Vampire. And then we have what is basically a cruiser division. Uh, Accenture, Achilles, Ajax, Valentine, and Valerius. These three were down here at one point. Down off the uh, up Atlantic. Battle of the River Plate. They took part in it. In which they got fairly well beaten by the Grass Bay in the actual fight. Well, they still hung in there. They did some damage to the Grass Bay. The Grass Bay did a good bit of damage to them and knocked out a good couple of gun turrets. I think the Excelsior had uh, almost all of its gun turrets knocked out. I'm not certain though. Don't take anything I'm saying as fact. I'm really not certain. I'm tempted, uh, shipyard, to grab some new ships. If 10,000 run down, it's Queen Elizabeth. Interesting gun batteries on the Elizabeth. Can't afford it. That's actually very interesting. Gun batteries on the Queen Elizabeth class. I remember I pictured a Queen Elizabeth class more like this class, the Revenge class. With the uh, gun batteries down the side. We can't afford a Revenge Eater. Definitely can't afford a Nelson. That's definitely not happening. King George V is also not happening. Eater is a North Carolina. I guess we're stealing ships from the, uh, from the Americans. Also, it's not available until week 1.5, December 1941. That's roughly when America joins the war. Repulse. Can't afford that. <laughs> Can't afford the hood. And I guess that's a good thing for the hood because she's safe for the moment from the Bismarck. Uh, courageous. Nope. Attacker. No Bogue. 
again, that's not till 42. Uh, Cumberland. 8 inch guns. Not too bad, but again, can't afford it. Can't afford the York. Can't even afford a Leander. Newcastle. Ditto. Can't afford that either. Interesting shell. Two and a half. Two and a quarter in shells. Two and a quarter. But I can speak. It's it's uh, 2.25 inch. Interesting caliber. Instead of just going 5 inch or 6 inch. Again, interesting caliber of shell. 4.7 inch. On the VW class. E class. CD class. F. G H. I. Tribal. This is something I like. Now, there she is. I'm going to get the height up. The fighting a ship in the Royal Navy. Well, Canadian Royal Navy. Hmm, that's interesting. She's got she's got the Ditto's uh gun turrets. Gun of the renown for her. Should get her. <laughs> OP class destroyer. A QR class. Flower class. I don't have the sack one the flower, flower class. It's better being a flower class Corvette. Although she might be a Temptus. No. The Corvette. I know that much. And then we're in the submarines. And then back to the battleships. Which we can't afford. We should stop looking at the battleships. And uh, wishing we could afford them. Now we can probably split this fleet into two. One with the Exer, with uh, Haida and probably Valentine. And then the Ajax, Achilles, Ajax, and the Valerius in a different group. Alright, so, the question is where am I going to put them? We're going to get these two, move over here, join this group. Make a nice strong fighting force over here. You, I'm going to take you, Haida, and Valentine. And I'm going to be bold. I'm going to put them over by Keel. I'm going to leave uh, the Ajax, Achilles, and Valerius as a little bit of a home defense at the moment. I'm also going to tell the war spike and her escorts to move out of that section of the Mediterranean. I'm going to bring them out of the Mediterranean, I think. Bring them up to the North Sea. Try and add them to another fleet. You two, I'm going to keep there. I think. Yes, I'll keep you there for a moment. Alright, so week has passed. I could send you up there. I'm not going to. This fleet. Where do I put you? Who you guys? I'm going to put you in the western approaches. And I'm going to put these guys now in the uh, home defense slot. That way we have a nice old battle cruiser. Guarding the area. Now I'm going to take Worst Fight. I'm going to also take the Suffix. Vanessa Vanity. Out. And I'm going to put them off Portugal. I'm also going to take the Tysis. For there. Tryon. I'm going to work towards putting the Tryon in the same slot as the. Uh, the Exeter and the Hyde and the Valentine.
corpse. No vessels. They're gonna move into there. Inter I wonder where the German Navy actually is. Is you guys actually? Come to the north. Because they could be just slipping out right here. Or they don't have uh, Norway. They could still be slipping past. I'm going to move you off into the Bay of Biscay. If I slept you. And I'm going to move this fleet. Up into the Scapa Flow area. These guys haven't seen anything down here. Um, let's move you up. One, I'll probably put you actually over by Halifax, just to make sure no U-boats wreck havoc. I don't know if there's actually convoys going around and all that, but oh yeah, there's a the convoy route. And water as well. That's actually pretty nice. Oh, warship attacked by Axis aircraft. Height and medium damage. Alright. <laughs> well, she's going back to base. This group. Back to Liverpool. Let's take uh, these guys. I can't actually put them in there. Well, I guess they're going to stay there then. Oh, I, I moved them. I've forgotten. Ida. No. Prepare. Say he's three. He's probably going to be in there for a little bit. Should take medium damage. Let's keep moving you to the north. And we'll move you guys to fill in the gap that I accidentally made. You're gonna move onto the actual convoy route. So in the harbor, by that days, all right. This group, I'm gonna leave, take the Valentine from the Exeter and give the Exeter to Vimy instead. Move them into this area. Hopefully, they'll find something to fight. You really haven't found anything in here. You're on the convoy route. Good. I wonder what these blue symbols mean. They're probably friendly ships that are at least seen by uh, our guys, I'm guessing. I'm going to just leave the Tysis over. Actually, I'm going to put the Tysis back in the Mediterranean.
right here. Somebody come to the door. Sorry. That's put me off of what I was thinking. Oh, the sit next room. Uh, great. That's great. They're ready to go. Put them there. Them back there. Get for now. Be repaired. 16 turns. That's not good. That, that is less than good. I will admit that. So far, no actual ships, though. I move them there. Last couple of weeks. Oh. Whoops. I clicked a little bit too fast. This is the Achilles group. And I'm guessing it's a U boat. Yeah, right there. Bridge contact. All right. Well, it looks like the Valorous is going to get uh, a go. But we do have to trickle a void. Any torpedoes that may be coming. I don't know why I told her to lay smoke. That was silly. You know, none. Can't do anything. There it is. Search contact. You know, depth charge. Nope. We can't do anything just yet. He's probably fired. Need to come about. And attempt to avoid any torpedoes. This one will charge directly at her in case she has fired a torpedo at us. Now she's fired. Oh, that's not. That's less than good. Uh, because none of you guys can actually do anything. That the destroyer's gone. So, uh, bravely run away. That is a loss, though. Didn't figure she fired. Well, I knew she'd fire torpedoes. I figured it would. We had avoided them. I thought she'd already done it. Well, actually, a little bit more of a turn away. Yeah, we are withdrawing these ships lest they get torpedoed. Because they can actually uh, do anything to it right now. Because she's underwater. Do 
two. Uh, no, do not scuttle. Do not scuttle the ship. That will not end well. Not in the slightest. No action again. We're just going to keep on leaving. In fact, I'm going to get you to start laying a little bit of a smoke screen. That way she can't see us. Or hopefully can't see us. In fact, you're both going to start making smoke. Just to try and... Well, actually, the wind's coming from the wrong direction for that to work. So, you can stop making smoke. I forgot about the wind. I'm about a little bit more. Don't want to run into each other. Move again. We're just going to withdraw if we can. Because, uh, well, we can't hurt her. Yes, there's just a no. That's just scuttle. Do not scuttle. There's just a withdraw option. That would be nice. Though I think I am outrunning her. In fact, I, I know we're outrunning her because she's underwater. She's doing like maybe seven knots at max. She can't catch us. We're both just doing movements and no actions. Somewhere over in this direction. We'll just fire off a couple HE shells. Just in the general direction, hopefully, to scare her away. That's probably fell well short. Somewhere over there. Oh, she withdrew. That's less than good. That fleet is without a escort now. Trinity, move to there. I'm also gonna get you guys to move into that area as well, since there is a U boat in there. Shipyard, at 4,000 renown.
to get an OP class destroyer. I think we will. I think we'll get the opportune. Just to replace the ship we lost. The opportune is going to make its way to join them at one point or another. Alright, so opportune is going to join this group. We're going to take the vanity back to the warspite group. Exeter, Haida, and Vimy. I'm just going to stick you into there. Oh, there we go. We got a battle. Ooh. I saw a battle, too. Afternoon. Cloudy. So, we have the initiative as well. Worst fight. The Suffolk, the Venus, and the Vanity versus the Gnizer now, and the Lipzing. There they are over there. Flank Bells. Fight move into port. Uh, let's take the cruiser under fire first. Actually, no, let's take the Gnaz now under fire. Airstrike, no. Don't want an airstrike on yourself. Uh, elevation 30. All right. Oh, 30 is the maximum elevation it can do. Well, send it. Oh, that's actually not too bad for first salvo. This looked fairly close. Let's accelerate up to flank speed. You're gonna take the Leipzig under fire. They're saying 27.8 degrees. That's close enough. Open fire. But uh, looks a little bit in bearing, but forward ahead. And the wind is blowing this way. Actually, you're going to start laying smoke. The cover to cruiser. Saying 40 degrees, which is your maximum. No, those were both short. And also off to the left. Nice and I was firing. Those were aimed at the worst fight never long. Lipstick moved and fired. Those were aimed at the smoke laying destroyer, I think. Smoke.
let's go with this 27.8 and it's slightly behind her because the wind's blowing this way what is looking at now with the ship with the uh, 11 inch guns not the 15 or 16 inch guns fire Not too bad. We've basically got the range down. In behind her, uh, they're saying twenty four point nine fire. One hit. Hey, you're gonna stop blowing smoke because you're obstructing the uh, fire of the war spite. Torpedo. Twenty one point. One in the water there, and one in the water there. Use one launcher. Here goes move. Uh, they're still saying 40. Which was short. Oh yeah, because she's out of range. Might as well just keep firing. Yeah, that's ball short. That's now moved and fired. That was well long. I don't know who she was aiming for. Here's in the water. All right, war spite. You have to turn a little bit. Avoid running into the friendly cruiser. That was almost that was dead on last time. Try and nick it down a little bit because you didn't move very far. Go twenty seven. In aim about there. Straddled her. There we go. Alright, 23.1. I have to aim behind because uh, the wind. Send it. Again, basically straight out her. Now we're going to have you close a little bit now. They're saying 40 for you, and again, your guns are tiny. Send it. Don't expect the range to be right, but uh, you never know. 
the uh, that looks to be short. You're also gonna close. And continue firing. I was coming about and firing. Those are still long. He's turning broadside. Oh, she scored a hit. Oh, the Gnizen is probably trying to avoid the torpedoes. Uh, about 20 decibels louder. Bump it up a little bit. And I'll bump this up a little bit. Let's see how this goes now. Uh, nothing major. Because <laughs> the Discord notifications sound like explosions when it sounds good enough to hear you. Ah. A little bit quiet then, I guess. Alright, bring your rotors into action again. Keep firing at the Gennais now, who we're building a good solution for. Or switch fire to the now broadside showing cruiser. I'm going to keep firing at the Gennais now. Sixty-one. The wind is blowing. Let's aim for there. Range was good. Wind was not. And 23.6. Alright. Let's go about there for the wind. Because I did, I've had, I've made some changes to how it was before, and now we have to worry about the wind. The wind was good, and we also straddled her, so we got fairly close. Continue the charge, little destroyers. Continue the charge. Firing bravely, despite it being probably foolhardy. Actually, you're getting close. Being able to actually hit, so uh, not so foolhardy anymore. At least from what it looks like over here. I thought you're well short. Eastern Bowen. She got close that time. Probably gonna have to maneuver with the war spite to try and throw her off. I have no idea who she was shooting at then. That just landed in the middle. Alright, let's adjust the port a little bit. There we go, we can still bring the guns to bear. We're saying 22. I'm gonna go with 25. The wind was a little bit more. 
last time we had it about there. We have it about there this time. Close again. I did score a hit though. That's the first hit we've scored on them. Second hit if you count the one against the cruiser. Alright, we're gonna follow the directors for this turret for the cruiser. Aim about there, I'd say. Ooh, nice hit there. Yeah, especially, it's a lot harder because uh, I've gone to the settings and turned it on so that uh, you have to account players' shells are affected by the wind. And I'm guessing their shells are as well. So I to adjust for the wind and range and all that. That was a nice old hit. One, maybe two hits. Plus, I also turned off their uh, damage notification, so I don't know what damage they have anymore. Although, there is a fire burning. We may have damaged her range finding. Because that is roughly where her main range finder is. Possibly set up uh, an ammo store. Who knows? Maybe torpedo tubes. There's torpedo tubes right there. It's one of the destroyers is moving. Yeah, the Vanessa. You're going to continue to close. Because you're still, I think, outside of range. They're still saying 40. And fire. Even though it really won't do too much. Oh, those look to be getting closer. Forty again for you as well, as you know. You're at the limits of your range. Again, you're still getting closer. Are, are you going to ram the cruiser, Gnizer, now? I feel like that's what he's going to do at some point. Long again. So far, that cruiser is the only one who's scored any hits on us. Yeah, pew pew. Oh, he's making smoke. He's trying to cover the Gnizer now with smoke. Unfortunately, he's going the wrong way. And the wind's going in the same way he's going. He needs to be going this way, the way we're going, in order to be able to cover the Gnizer now in smoke. I mean, good attempt, but uh, you're going the wrong direction, buddy. Let's see. It was at 25, you moved a little bit. Go down to 24. You know, sounds could be better. Then again, it's fairly good for a small indie team. And it's not like all the same stuff. Don't tell me you reset. What about there? I think those sound fairly good for large caliber shells or guns going off. Just behind her, and almost in line, actually basically in line too, we just missed. Oh, that's... Ooh. <laughs> I wish we had hit that. Smoke. Thank you, game. I noticed the smoke there. Oh, it no longer sees her as a ship. 
because she's technically in smoke. The elevation down a little bit. And about there. Not for the good. Nope. Uh, these are British. That's the war spite. Uh, the Suffolk. And then the Vanessa and the Vanity. No Japanese ships here. Uh, the cat wants to get out. Just a moment. There we go. One cat has been freed from the room. So still 40. Because your shows are light. Let's see how we do. Oh, they're actually long now, so 40 is no longer the range. She's actually within range. If you know. You can actually see her properly. But we can't. It's actually not too bad. As I was coming back around. Actually, some, she scored some hits there. She goes in the water. She's still laying smoke. I wonder how much damage we've done that she's still just laying smoke in an attempt to escape, I'm guessing. Like I was saying, plus 300. Uh, no, go back to the ship. Or, I guess this works. What are they saying? They're saying 20.4? I don't doubt, I doubt that. Let's go for 22. And aim there. That was still long. I should have. Maybe sh they have a fairly good solution on the guys now at this point. I might want to actually listen to them. Still saying you smoke. Let's go for 20. And there, roughly. Uh, looks to be fairly close. No longer 40, let's just go with 38. And there. Actually still long, <laughs> surprisingly. Aim for there. Because you're a little bit farther away from her than she is, so. A little bit higher elevation required. Actually, you scored a hit! Good job. Right in the bridge area, too. Alright, War Spite, time to make maneuvers. They've finally gotten around to being accurate with their ju at their gunnery. Although it's actually nothing major. None of the turrets are down, then the secondaries. Everything's still up. But I'm still gonna make you maneuver. And 
And I'm going to start listening to these guys as well. Because their solution is pretty bloody good at this point. And about there, roughly. Nope, it's off. Why would you lie to me when you have a fairly good solution at this point? Alright, we're gonna switch targets to the Ganaz now. With you. 18.7. about there and fire short again Let's actually bring you about guys now torpedo back would be 83.2 That's close enough And there uh, No torpedoes on target Oh, we used them all I guess How did we use them all? Fire anyway. Uh, you're gonna keep moving this way. I'm tempted to get you to lay smoke next time. You guns down a little bit. In behind. Actually, bring the rear into action now. They were long. He's still firing. That was long. That's good. Lepsig's moving. Still smoke. Did we knock out her fire, her fire control? That's the only thing I could think of that could cause her to just smoke up and run. I want to bring the rear turrets back into action. I didn't get the rear turrets back into action. I like that they're saying on target now. Like it was on target the whole time. Right about... There. Let's see how well these do. Oh, some hits, and we straddled her. That's good. Don't know what we hit. Twenty-one point five. There we are. And. We'll hop over here just to see if any of these hit what it hits. That was long. And I guess you're going to go to high explosives. They're saying 25.5. There we go. And fire. I don't think your armor piercing can penetrate the uh, ship there. It's a little bit tough. Actually, not too bad for first salvo. Let's turn a little bit to get uh, you facing. 31.1 they're saying. And send it.
And again, not too far off. Fairly close. And she's just continuing on straight. And again, she was long, which is good. Lipstick moved. She's still smoking. Yep. She's just running. She goes into water. All right. Let's continue your, your turn to starboard just to bring your rest, your rear gun turrets into action. Apparently that was long, that last salvo. Despite having hits, it was a long shot, according to the uh, splash indicator. Rather follow shot indicator. And send it. Three hits. Looks like one of them was up high near her fire control radar. Does it look straight? I think that it's straight on, never mind. But it looks like her bridge is burning, which is a uh, nice thing. And maybe her fire control radar was hit, who knows. I'm just going to continue to get you to move. They're saying 16.8. Yeah, well. Her bridge is right by her fire control radar. And if the fire control radar is partially knocked out, then she's going to have to turn in order to present her aft fire control radar. Mm, that was forward. We're getting closer. I see the keyboard has decided to uh, derp on you. Uh, they're seeing 24.6. All right. But yeah, the conning tower. Well, that's roughly where we hit. One, the forward section that's on fire is the conning tower right here. That's the bridge and the conning tower all here, along with one of the spotting sections. And the main spot's up here. Which is, uh, I saw a shell explode up here. And then one here, and then one here. So I think we may have done some damage to the fire control. Don't know for certain, though. No, I want to go back to the vanity. You still get your torpedoes. But I want to see if those torpedoes launch from the uh, Vanessa hit or not. Let's see, 32.9... That's odd to be a adding, but sure. We'll trust the fire control director. Which in this case is literally just a guy of a periscope. And got a hit. Oh, she's seen the torpedoes. She's moving. Firing. Still long. Which to me is a good sign. Is the lipstick is the lipstick gonna fire? No, she's not. She's just running. We may have knocked out the fire control on the lipstick. Because she's just laid smoke and ran ever since we hit her. We're saying fifteen now. She did turn towards us, so that makes sense. And right about there, I want to say. Yeah, right about there. Uh, 
No, that was forward. But uh, in line. Oops, don't want to look underneath. No U-boats around here. Uh, 16.8, sir. It's already set up there. Send that out that way. Got A hitting the bows, and the rest were close. Already used your torpedoes, so you're just going to keep moving. Just it that way. In 23.1. Here we go. Good salvo. Good number of hits. That was way long. They're now saying 23.3. Which makes a bit more sense. Those were short. She's just charging us. Why is she charging us? Single hit in the war spite. Start a fire. Lipsig's moving and still not firing her guns. She's withdrawing. I think the Ganaiza now is trying to cover the withdrawal of the Lipsig. Looks like the aft spot is on fire, which is uh, less than good. No F spot is still fine. Alright. If you say so, game. Yeah, the fire has basically burned itself out. Oh, that's basically on target. According to the, uh, the spotter. Right about there, I would say. Let's see how well this does. Couple hits in her super structure. There's a hit to the bridge, definitely. There's a visible hole there now, so that's definitely a hit to the bridge. Yeah, her fire control radar is off. Her main spot is damaged. That's no longer pointing at the ship she's aiming at. Oh, she's charging because of the torpedoes. They're just passing beside her now. So she could be trying to get her own torpedoes away. But yeah, she's taking a hit to the bridge, which may have damaged her forward spot. Her main radar and spot are damaged. As they're nowhere they're not tracking with the guns. Uh, this spot is also not tracking correctly, although then again, it may not be able to track fully forwards. Unless her main radar is targeting her, but she's shooting at the war spite, which makes no sense. Put this up over here. As is normal. 16.9, they're saying. And send it. Long but one hit, which was uh, close enough that it may as well have just bounced off. They're saying 18.5. Might as well switch to high expose the armor piercing. Just try your luck with that. You never know, you might hit the superstructure and damage something. Plus, we are closing the range. Uh, just forward of the bows. And also short a little bit. Now, since she's charging this way...
Let's get torpedoes in the water. There we go. Nice little self of torpedoes for her. This is if she continues to charge this way, she'll get a torpedo. Oh. One turret firing. And you just she just suffered an explosion. And that fire is definitely still burning. I believe she is toast, as they would say. I was saying 13.9. There we go. Oh yeah, she is definitely listing heavily. I think I think B turret is also damaged because she's also not tracking the same as A turret. More hits. That was a good salvo. Fourteen point three. And let's watch from the guys now again. Nope, that was short. Seventeen point eight and fire. Couple hits forward. Switch back to guns. Right about there. 23.4, they're saying. Send that. That was long. You saw the torpedo she's turning. She's also laying smoke. I think they're both combat ineffective at this point. Now it's just a case of trying to kill them. A little bit lower. And fire. Yeah, those torpedoes are gonna miss, I think. That was a good hit in the back. Over right the stern. A little bit more of a turn to port going on. I wish you could see your plot for your fires. Where are you firing? I'm going to twick it up a little bit. Those are actually fairly close. A little bit down, I think. I'm not just going Kentucky windage at this. Those are long. A 
I think your shots will last long, so down a little bit and fire. Those are still long, but they're close. She's turning back. She's still smoking. She's also still smoking. Now it's just a case of how long until we hit her. Just short. Just barely short. I think you were short. Nope. That was long. If only you had torpedoes right now, I should have saved your torpedoes. Well long. Well, well long. Let's see how this does. Uh, one hit in this turn. Oh, she's going to turn to the torpedoes. <laughs> oh, organizer now. Or organizer now. You made the wrong move there, buddy. Nope, I should have left that alone. Left that alone. Right about there. There we go, more hits. <laughs> I go for ten. Nope, those were short. For 15. Good hits to the bows again. He's still just moving and smoking. He goes in the water. Move it down a tiny a little smidge. Actually, no, it was short last time. She's moved forward a little bit. Say at 11. There she goes. Right in her magazine. Not quite as a uh, quick as the Bismarck hit in the hood, but that's a nice old docket. Now, how far away are you? Let's try 25. Oh, that's actually not too far off. I mean, it's still far off, but it's not insanely far off. Alright, let's go for 20 for you. 25. 
All right, that's long, but it's basically in line. That's what I wanted to find out. There she goes there, sinking. Let's try 25, 25 with you, because you're a little bit further back. No, that is short. That's well short. All right, so I'm about to port, port West Fight. And target the smoke. Um. There she is there. We're going to put there. Oh, that's actually in line, basically. Fairly accurate. Fairly accurate. I think you were 30. Let's try that. I think you were short. Oh, there we go. Not too bad, considering we don't have a uh, hollow shot. Backer. I remember if you were long or short. I think you were long. I think the other one was short. Yeah, you were the long one. And you were the short one. That's still short. Alright then, War Spike. Let's see if we can't do any damage this time. Come on. Out there and up a smidge and fire got one hit probably should have upped it a little bit more That's just a case of beating this guy to death. Long. Alright. But you did 20. That was a hit. There we go. We basically got the range with you. Alright. I need more range on you. And send that. Yep, still more range needed. You're showing no signs of signs, rather, of slowing down. Let's tweak it up a little bit. And over there. Send it. Alright, short, but almost in line as well. That's long. Forgot you were long. Uh, 
Let's stick it down one tick, see how well we do. Alright, that's a little bit too much. That should be good setting next time, though. And you still need to just go more elevation. Oh, those are getting close, but that's basically your maximum elevation, so you're going to have to hold fire for a couple of rounds. It does actually stop laying smoke. Make it much easier. Pick it up a little bit. Over there. One hit, at least two. Two hits, there we go. You were long, weren't you? Okay, so let's go with 32. I'm still mostly long, but getting closer. Your setting should hopefully be good now. Pick it up a little bit just in case. Almost. And then you're just out of range. Oh, wow, you really have. You really have basically no, uh. There she is. Well, I don't know how this works, so this may drop a bomb right in front of us. Who knows? Or it's going to come in this direction. I think it's going to come in this direction. I've got a Sunderland. I think this is going to be slightly off, though. Yeah, it's going to go slightly off. I think. Hmm... These bombs might hit, maybe, if we're lucky. Unless it is an aiming reticle or something, but we don't get that. No luxury like that here. No, those are going to fall long. And off to the left as well, so they never would have hit it anyway. Alright, move. Up a little bit more. And it looks like there are two hits, maybe one. Oh, there we go. That's a solid hit. That's probably her engines knocked out. Which, if, if nothing else, will make her easier to catch up to. Oh, you're getting closer. It's going to slowly pound you to death. That's her <laughs> conning tower hit. I think he might be in range now, maybe.
Nope, still short. Is she still making smoke? She's still making smoke. I mean, she's making smoke because she's on fire. That much is obvious. She's still also laying smoke. Another solid hit, forward section. I think you were still slightly long. That's gonna be one hit. No, nope, one close miss. You're still generally long. Turn that down a little bit. And send it. No, that's long. Yeah, her conning tower is, uh, not conning, uh, spotting tower is damaged. Because there's a shell in it. You're basically almost within range, but you're still off the side. She's just she's still just running. Right about there. Oh, we've hit maximum elevation. The old fork method. Yeah. If she moves the same amount, it'd be good. Yeah. Straddling her over time. Although, I've been getting closer. I know she's been still shooting long. There we go, she's straddled now, so that's a fairly good setting, at least for a moment. Then it's just adjusting either closer or farther away, depending on whether or not we're closing or not. I wish we could still see you follow a shot, but just the smoke. Stop playing smoke! Let's put you to 16.9. Take it down dramatically and let's see. A good couple of hits. Still overall long though. And you're still just closing. Right there. Oh, I still need to go more to the right, but you're in line. Yeah, she barely moved. So, if we keep the same setting... This should... hit. She moved a little bit further away and we were just barely in front last time. Hopefully. Then again, there is some innate inaccuracy. Due to it being shells and range and all that. Still overall... Ahead, actually, so that's actually a good setting to keep for a little bit. Bring you down a little bit more. There we go, you're getting in target now. Another explosion. And more fire. You're long overall, so I'll take you down to 15.8. And you're so close, you're probably not going to have to worry about the wind too much. I know you're a little bit short, but that's okay. Alright, take you more left. I think we can drop you a little bit. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> well then, the game just crashed. The game decided I was taking too long, uh, taking the cruiser that wouldn't stop smoking. All right, so Battle of the Atlantic. Um, continue. Uh, this is you guys there. All right, so there's gonna be a fight there, I think. Let's put you guys into that group there. Nope, that fight didn't materialize again. All right, so. Uh, Exeter, Bimmy, and Haida. Back to this coastline. And this group. Put you in the western approaches. Move you there. Uh, let's send you out to the Bay of Biscay. Ah, U30, and she's got the initiative. Oh, generally somewhere behind us. And she's called an airstrike with a junkers. Oh, it's the Viking squadron. Now oh, that's less than good. That is really not good. Let's see, X and Y turret are gone. 90 submarine warfare is heavily damaged. AA is destroyed. Propulsion steering are damaged. There's a fire burning. The cooks have dro dropped their crockery. Uh, you're no longer able to actually maintain your... Uh, no longer able to adjust your heading. Alright, you have the sonar contact though. No def charges because you're not in position to def charge. Yeah, you have no steering control. You're gonna make smoke and move. There's periscope contact. Oh, torpedoes. In the water. Uh, you still can't steer, so you're going just straight. Uh, you need to continue your turn a little bit. Unless you run into one of these torpedoes. Alright, you should be clear. Actually, you should be in line, too, to set a run. on the uh, destroyer, the destroyer, the U-boat. Yeah, you're just moving out of the... You're just running. Although you might actually want to stop, because if you keep running, you might hit that one. Eventually, at some point. A little bit to starboard. That's a little bit too much to starboard. I'm worried about that one. No action. Come to a stop. I'm worried she's about to try and torpedo this one. That's going to be off for a run. Yeah, torpedoes into water. Oh, she's diving.
All right, so turn. Hip charge. I believe in combat. All right, so the you're heavily damaged. Vanquisher is okay. Submarine attack by aircraft. Uh, Triton, light damage. Uh, so you're going to move into here. I just left you. Renown is still being repaired from her when she was attacked by aircraft. Into the shipyard you go. So I have no idea what these bars are at the top, but... Let's put you in the repairs at Gibraltar. And there's an actual shipyard here, so you can't build a ship. The Vanquish is on her own for a little bit. How long until four turns? We put you in there. Uh, no, I don't think. I don't think we'd be that uh, silly. I'm going to move you guys down south, just because there is a convoy route over there. Yeah, you're going to move to the south. We sunk one vessel, they haven't sunk any of ours, which is good. Still six turns. What's what actually didn't suffer any- oh yeah, that fight didn't happen, so let's say it didn't suffer any damage in that fight. Okay. This is interesting. Ganizen is attacking us alone. Without an escort. Oh, this is why. Torpedo Bomber. Well, pull back. Hard to port. Although you're gonna keep, you're gonna continue traveling. There's no way to stop that. Stop you in time. Where is she? Where's the guys now? She's to the front. There she is. All right. Fire control directors say an elevation. Of 17.8. Which way is the wind blowing? Wind's blowing that way. And let's see what we do. Uh, short and... Off to the side. Wind's blowing quite aggressively, it seems. They're saying 16.9 for elevation. Probably gonna end up being short, but uh, who knows. And also, apparently, a lot of lead for the wind. Short, but in line. I guess the destroyers are just uh, charging. Well, kind of charging. I don't think you could actually have the range. Although we do have an airstrike of our own. With a bomb. 
That looks to be good. It's another Sunderland. Let's hope we do better evolving with this Sunderland than we did the last. It looks more in line, at least, so that's always a good thing. I wonder what size bombs these are. Who knows? I don't. Alright, and let's start bombing... Now. Ah, hmm. uh, all short. Barely, though. Almost at her. You can even see her, so you're not even in range to fire. That's yeah, gonna hit. In the, in the torpedo bulges eater. And first level accuracy. Oh, that's not good. I'll get moving. Saying 18.2. Let's see how we do this time. Uh, range is good, but the wind was off. It's a heavy wind. Eighteen point four, they're saying. That is a heavy wind. Then again, it is a storm, so that does make a good bit of sense. Oh, this is interesting. She said one of her torpedo tubes were removed. That or the model just failed to show up. Oh, you don't have an airstrike. Not only four torpedoes, yes, she only has one torpedo tube. Uh, no, let's not. HE shell, greater than 40, that's not going to have her hit. I guess we're just charging. Uh, drive me closer, I want to hit them with my sword. That was long, so actually that was, I guess, a lucky first shot. We need to aim well ahead for the wind. I'm just saying 17.7. Oh, that may be a hit. Nope, still just short. Still underestimating the wind. Like, it's a seriously a lot of lead you gotta give for the wind. What are they saying? They're saying 13.8. Let's look at those shells curve. Uh, you probably gotta get closer. Or your little little pop guns will be able to even have the range. Oh, they're saying you got the range now. Thirty eight point six. Nope. Well, you're actually long, but also. Need to go more to the left. 
This is, this is a heavy wind going on here. You need to give so much just lead. There we go. Oh, that's... You're definitely not open range. Oh, so... Well to the right. Alright, continue your turn to port. Because you want to bring your... Defensive line on. You're actually not doing too badly, I don't think. I'll bring the main gun, their rear, the rear turrets around. The fire has burned itself out. My rear turrets are still obfuscated by something. Uh, did that reset your fire control? It did. Man, those shells are curving. That was a good, uh, good range estimate from the fire control team. about there 14.9 all right I overestimated for the win that time that's something you don't normally do get your diddy little popkins into action I'm noticing 25. Two. I doubt this will hit, but it might. You never know. Uh, nope, short, but actually in line. Start moving you around to port a little bit. I I don't know if you have the range yet or not, but we'll try it. Uh, maybe. Yeah, you've now got the range. You just need the correct wind adjustment. That was a nice, uh, close hit. Rather close miss. You really gotta give a whole lot of lead for the wind. 15.4 Couple hits to the bows. I'm actually giving a little bit too much lead. Thirteen point six. There we go. And send it. More hits to the bows, which is good. Twenty six point eight, they're saying. All right. And about there, I'd say. Mm, one hit in the stern underneath the waterline. That may be a uh, propeller hit or a. Steering hit. They're still so far out that I'm doubting these shots will hit. Yeah, no. Just too much wind at the range you're at. I wonder if that turn is intentional or not. Because she did take a hit close to where the propellers would be. Fourteen point five. If I did just a little bit better for lead for wind, that would have hit. Fifteen 
be nice if they gave you something like estimated wind. Like where they think you should aim. That was a good salvo. Hitting her main spot again. Probably turned you a little bit too much. 21.4. That was short. And you still gotta close a little bit more before you can really get into action. 32.6, they say. There we go. And about there. Oh. Still off, but getting closer. Now it looks like that turn was intentional. All right, I may have hit the main spot. Yeah, main spot and main radar are offline now. Oh, we only got to tick this down a little bit. And send it. I feel like that's going to, yeah. Wind. Went from overestimating it to underestimating it. Except for you. You, I appear to have down with the uh, wind. Where it's going to be. Don't know why. Out there. 21.2. So down a touch. One close miss. Or well, close misses. They're saying 30. I mean, you're getting closer. Your range is good. It's just the wind. It just just meant for the wind that's off with a lot of these shots. Thirteen point four. There we go. That was a good salvo. What about there, I'd say? Well, they're saying, all right. Let's move. 18.2. Oh, point one's close enough. Now that this wind died down. Actually, that was a good salvo. Although that was all armor piercing against uh, a battleship with 4.7 inch guns. Uh, it probably didn't do too much. Maybe walk some guys up, but. Uh, Probably not too effective. 23.2, 23.2. I was about to say, wonder if the torp elevate, the torp angle could be used for wind, but no. Don't think it can. It's getting close. I think she's uh, underestimating the range.
Right about there. Twelve point three. One hit in the bows, but mostly off. I started circling around the starboard a little bit. Because if we start heading ourselves parallel to the wind or perpendicular, then we won't have to worry about uh, the wind. 12.7, or 10.7, they say. Couple underwater hits. This will give her some torpedoes. Uh, 94.7. And one more large one in case she does go quite, uh, sharply in. Try to avoid. So torpedo salvo. Actually, you come about to starboard, and we'll get ready to give you a torpedo salvo from this guy. Nineteen point eight. Oh, almost. Oh, she's put torpedoes in the water. Against the cruiser? I don't know who she's targeting with those torpedoes. Eleven point eight. Right about there. There we go. That was a nice salvo. You're going to wheel about the starboard. I mean, you're already going to turn to starboard anyway, so... It doesn't make too much of a difference. That's basically good enough elevation. Some long, some hit. Mix of both. Go back to guns. Twelve point five. Oh, almost had it. There we go. That was short. You lied to me, fire control directors. So you're heading in downwind, so you need to go farther. 16.2. Close. Yeah, they were aimed at the uh, Sheffield, I think. Those torpedoes are going to fall behind, I think. Oh, there goes the opportune. <laughs> and unless she slows down a lot, they're going to fall behind. He continued to turn to starboard. How about there? They're saying 11.
There we go. Fairly nice salvo. You can continue your hard turn in because there's still torpedoes in the water. And I want to be sure you're clear of them. Ideally, we want him to be right here. Although this is a better... Better win situation than before. So we don't have to give massive sideways lead. Alright, now then. Torpedoes. 56.7. Oh, that's close enough. Three back that way. We'll give you four back that way. One over there. And one there. Send it. Yeah, those should miss now. Yeah, those are feels a missed. Don't know about uh, these ones. They may hit. Maybe. Although the two battleships are now basically just squaring off and she's laying smoke. I was going to say they're both squaring off in a brawl, but she's whipping out a little bit and using smoke. That was actually short. You were slightly long last time, so we'll tick that down a little bit. Plus, you are closing the range. Move. And then bring out the armor piercing. I don't know, go for 12.2. No, those were short. Yeah, you know, Sheffield's well out of danger. And Eisenhower has managed to dodge the torpedoes. Yeah, she's going to dodge those torpedoes. Yeah, a little bit closer. 10.1. I actually need to increase the range a little bit. I think you also were short. Alright, you're actually long now. And you were definitely short. Go with 15. Oh, oh sir. As no tor torpedoes missed. Yep, yeah, they missed as well. Too tight of a spread. Interesting that the war spite's not producing smoke anymore. Or at all. Up a little bit because your last couple shots have been short. There we go. Oh, and we may have knocked out her front turret. Um... I would say yes, we've knocked out her front two turrets. And her bridge structure is burning, and so is her smokestack area. 
Rock control system has been offline for a little bit, looks like. Yeah, she is in trouble, to put it bluntly. Let's continue to give her trouble. Right about there. And down a little bit, 17.6. It's all it hits. Like how the destroyer is broadsiding with a with a capital ship. And not getting off too bad from it. I mean the other destroyer got off fairly bad from it. This one not so much. Good hits there too. She's continuing her turn. I think she's trying to run. That last level was good. She's opened distance a little bit. Let's speak it up a little bit. That was a good shot. There we go. We've gotten the range. Right about there. Think tweak up a little bit. more hits around the stern. And right about there. And up a little bit because she is moving away. Feels I've run out of steam. Oh, she's actually firing. She's actually fighting back now. Which means we're going to have a good solution on her. That was a bit of a mistake there, uh, old gun eyes now, old buddy, old pal. Direct hit to the aft turret. Is she burning in the aft too? Well, at least she's going down fighting this time and not just running away. One hit. No major damage to the chef field, looks like. 11.1. There we go. And right about there, I would say. You're still shooting long. Eight point one. I think I'm giving you too much uh, wind adjustment. Let's come to port a little bit. Seventeen point six. Just barely short. It is nice to see her though, fighting back instead of just wandering off with uh but uh fighting. I'm actually gonna leave that alone. Cause it was long last time. There we go. If I want to just fire. 
Same solution, just keep firing. Yep, same thing here, just keep firing. Although I think I'm going to tweak your range up slightly. Because it was uh, short. And that was short again. Alright, I was saying 11.5. I'll go 11.2. Seems they're over. Let's go 11.3. Meet in the middle of what I think and what they think. That was a good call. Oh, there we go. That's the uh, firing plot. And shows ones that included hits. All right. I don't think you're too heavily damaged. Actually, the wind's changed. You're heading directly opposite the wind. You don't need to worry about the wind anymore. Eight point two. Good hits. Only had some torpedoes. Yeah, seven point nine. I'm gonna go eight point eight or eighteen, not eight. That's still short. All right, there goes uh, X turret. On the chef field. There we go. Let's go point six. That was long. All right, you've taken damage. Excert gone, AA is gone. Let's maneuver a little bit. You're still going basically downwind. And keep firing. I mean, there's not much else to say. Just keep shooting. Basically all hits. There's a fire. You can probably actually come back in towards them. Eighteen point six, they're saying. That sounds like a reasonable increase. Getting closer, but still off. Ugh. That's not good. That's really not good. Uh, 10.9. I guess we are getting a little bit closer. 11.2. That was a good hit. Return to favor. Alright, you're gonna start licking, making smoke. And withdrawing. Um, I doubt that. I'm going to go with the one I had. Okay, a little bit more. Yeah, the ship field is going to make smoke and just leave. A little bit down.
Which is a little bit too far. Right about there, I'd say. Point nine, yeah. I'm curious what we're blowing up in there. <laughs> Her boilers, maybe. Doing delay smoke and withdraw. Uh, let's do that there. Because now those should be hits. Yep, good solid hits. Oh, she's doing nothing. Her rear turret's still in action, though. Her propulsion is basically gone. And so is her aircraft. It looks like the winds were taken off. Wonder if her uh, magazines have been damaged. And 11.4 now. Let's go with 11.1. Yeah, good thing we didn't go for 11.4. That would have been wrong. Uh, since she appears to be no longer fighting, at least at the moment you can stop laying smoke. Point three, you're still mostly damn wind, so that was long. Sixteen point five, I doubt. It'll go seventeen point seventeen point six. We're starting to head into the wind. Nope, she's just waiting for you to stop smoking. Let's close in a bit more, or rather turn towards a little bit, straighten up a bit more. Oh, she's not moving. Let's go for 11. Continue to move. Nine point three should be good, I think. Because those are long last time. Yeah, those were good. I'm just gonna continue pounding her to death. More hits. Do nothing again. Her fires have stopped. And War Spite's now in a fairly good position. Let's say an 11. It was a long last time, so we'll take it down a little bit. 10.8. Overall, long. About five. Like there's still smoke coming out of the destroyed stacks. Well, I saw torpedoes on the destroyer. She'd make a perfect target. All right, now we can turn it down a little bit. Also, it looks like the water might be clearing. Guys, that's doing nothing.
Not quite perfectly a downwind shot, but she's getting there slowly. Ten point five. They were kind of long last time. More detonations. How many more explosions has she got in her? Answer is who knows. Uh, video bearing. One hundred point nine. Well, point eight. When there, there, when there, I doubt our little destroyer friend will kill her, but it might happen, you never know. Fifteen point nine. Good hits. Nothing. She's still very slightly moving. But these should hit. If not, then I'm a failure as a torpedo man. Go. 10.3. Those are long still. Uh, I'm saying 10.4. So 9.9. .9. Got a hit. Take it down a little bit. Right now I'm basically waiting for the torpedoes to hit. Because she's not doing anything anymore. Yeah, I was about to say, it's got to go down. much adjust adjustment over to the side I think the wind is calming down 10.3 I'll bump it up a little bit and that are hit to her disabled turret I'm just gonna get you to stop firing This should be your end, unless they run out of range, which will be a bit sad. And now we're basically in line. 9.3, and send it. You're still afloat. Done. Done. The run over. There we go. Four hits. <laughs> She's still not sinking. Oh, there. Now she's sinking. All right. One last salvo. Alright, Warsplate took medium damage. Suffolk took heavy. The Opportune was sunk. And the Vanessa came out of that perfectly unscathed while the Gnizana was sunk. That could have gone better.
You're all going to put into... Actually, can you put into port a Skype of Flow? Yes, you can. Repair and rearm, I guess. And there's a shipyard at Skype of Flow. We got 32,000. Could get a uh, Crown Colony class the Newfoundland. Could get a Dido. Hmm, possible, maybe. Newcastle or Leander or York. Could get another heavy cruiser. Or another uh, county class. Mm, can't get the hood, nor Nurpolis, nor one of them. Nope. The biggest we can get is a uh, heavy cruiser. I think we'll hold off for the moment. Uh, we're going to keep moving you down here. Vanquisher. What's the port situation? Three turns still till she's out of port. You, Tysus, go up this way. Yeah, because the Trion is still in report. But I'm gonna call the stream here. Had a crash. Made some progress. At the very least, we've uh, sunk the good eyes now, which is a good old boon for us. Not so good of a boon for the uh, Germans. But uh, thank y'all for coming out, and hope to see you all next time.